day, the seven baby goats were very, very happy because it was summer vacation. They were having fun together by throwing water at each other by the sea and enjoying the warm weather. A few hours later, all the goat siblings returned to their homes. But at that time, the two goat siblings still swimming in the water did not notice this. <laughs> the waves are so much fun! While the baby goats were having fun, unaware of everything, a hungry wolf on the shore was watching them hungrily, contemplating plans to devour them. However, at that time, both goats saw a large fish tail beyond the water. They hugged each other in fear. Huh? Is that a shark? If so, we must return to shore immediately. The goats swam to the shore. However, the fishtail they saw also followed them. Finally, they realized that this fishtail that washed up on the shore actually belonged to the beautiful mermaid Araya. What, what is that? that? A mermaid? Uh, help me. The mermaid was bruised all over. Wondering what had happened to her, the little goats thought of taking the mermaid home to be cured. The wolf, who saw what was happening, could not hide his surprise. An idea came to his mind that could turn the situation into an opportunity. Araya told the goats in detail what had happened to her. And how did your tail get damaged like that? On the way home, there was such a big storm that I hit rocks all over while trying to swim. Both goat siblings thought that goat ointment, which was good for every disease, could be good for the wounds on her tail. That's why they decided to take the mermaid home. However, no matter how hard they tried, they were not strong enough to carry the mermaid Araya. At that very moment, the treacherous wolf appeared before them. Ah, wolf! The goats ran away in fear and hid behind the giant umbrella standing on the side. The wolf took the net that the fisherman had forgotten and threw it at the mermaid. Although the mermaid Araya struggled with anxiety, she was not strong enough to break free from the net. Uh, uh, let me go, wolf! I said let me go! Help! The mermaid's necklace fell to the ground while she was struggling, but she didn't notice it. Since the wolf was stronger than the goats, he easily carried the mermaid away from the beach. An amazing feast awaits me in the evening. The goats, who did not know what to do with fear, noticed the necklace on the ground and took it with them. Huh! We must save the mermaid from that treacherous wolf! The goats were on their way to find the mermaid. On the other hand, the evil wolf locked the mermaid in a small cage in a shabby fishing hut in the forest. First I'll devour you, then I'll go after the goats! <laughs> mermaid Araya heard the wolf's treacherous plan, but she was very upset because she knew that she couldn't do anything. On the other hand, the goat siblings had been looking for the mermaid in the forest for hours. They saw an old fishing hut a short distance away. They immediately rushed there. When they climbed a hill and looked through the window, they saw that the mermaid Araya was imprisoned in a cage. The wolf was preparing a huge dining table right next to her. Both goats took this opportunity and came to Araya without being noticed by the wolf. Mermaid Araya was very surprised to see them. <gasps> Get out of here now, or he'll catch you and eat you too. However, both goats were very brave. 
The little goat handed the goat ointment out of his pocket to the mermaid. He said it would be good for her wounds. But just then, the wolf noticed the goats. Huh? Goats? Run! The little goats ran back and forth in fear. The mermaid applied the ointment to all her wounds in order to heal as soon as possible and save the goats. Thus, she regained her health. Just as the greedy wolf cornered one of the goats, the mermaid, now even stronger than before, radiated a dazzling light. With that light, her fishtail turned into human feet. Let go of the goats, wolf! The mermaid picked up the net lying on the side and threw it at the wolf. Grrr, help! I'm caught in the net! No matter how hard the wolf struggled, he got entangled in the net, and the little goats were saved from being eaten by the wolf. Hey, yo! Thumbs up! Hooray! Hero Mermaid! Without forgetting, the goat siblings gave the necklace that belonged to the mermaid back to her. Araya was very happy to have her lost necklace again. Finally, they all returned home together. In this way, the friendship of the seven baby goats and the mermaid Araya was never broken. But the opportunistic wolf has never understood what friendship means. If Cinderella would have forgotten about midnight and kept on dancing with the prince. If the little mermaid wouldn't have rescued the prince from the sinking ship. And if Hansel and Gretel would have not entered the cake house. Or if the little red riding hood wouldn't have told the wolf where she was going. None of these fairy tales would have existed. They took us to exciting adventures on magical lands we have never seen. They raced against evil sometimes, and sometimes it was against time. They showed us the true meaning of passion, love, friendship, helpfulness, sharing, and being a family. We cried together. We laughed together. But in the end, we always learn something.